Hello, hello, hello. We are live with today's stream. So I'm just going to share that on all the social medias and then we'll get started with the game. It is Friday. We are starting with some Owl Crossing as per usual and then going to be switching to Earthbound Beginnings afterwards. I do apologize that we are, I am like 13 minutes late to start today. Um, I, 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 I'm I actually impressed that I was able to only be that late considering everything I had to get done between getting home from work and now, but um, yeah. And then also, even then a lot of it was just down to the fact that my GameCube is having issues with reading discs, so it it's always a good chunk of my setup right now is just getting Animal Crossing started, <laughs> and once it's running, it's fine. Because Animal Crossing, I mean, once it's running, you can take the disc out, which I do actually, because it just needs the, to read the disc once initially to load the game, and then it's good to go. I'm actually concerned though when I beat Metroid Fusion, I'm going to be moving on to Metroid Prime, which is also on the GameCube, and that one I'm pretty sure is going to need the disc for more than just once the start, so I'm gonna have to try to see if I can figure out a way of getting my di GameCube reading discs more consistently. I do know a potential solution. Um, actually, it's something that I think I've done on my GameCube previously, but it was long ago, where you just need to tighten... You need to open up the game... A little bit of the GameCube. I don't think you need to fully open up it. You need to get it something that you tighten and then it'll work better. So I'm gonna have to look into that, but for now let's just hop into the Animal Crossings and get started. Hey Nick, how's it going? How are you doing? Uh, Alright, go ahead. Town. Yes, 3.15 p.m. August 9th, that's all good. 2024, Trantor. Awesome. Rick. Relatively good? Okay. Good stuff. Or relatively good stuff, as it were. Now we should have a new villager, we do. Ah, oh, it's Genji. Not that I have anything against Genji, I'm just, you know, it's not one of our three villagers that has not yet lived here. Buzz, Chief, and Cyrano. Well, we'll get them eventually. Hang on, what do we got in the mail? Only four letters. I mean, three of them are obviously from the museum. With a trilobite. I want to try a high bite. Uh, dinosaur egg. And, um. Right wing of a pteranodon. I the left wing the other day. So. I mean, we sold it, so we don't still have it, but. And Tom Nook with a stunning train set. So, for whatever reason, I didn't get a letter from the HRA today. Might get one later. Sometimes that shows up later. Uh, not sure if you're... You were in the hospital for 50 days recently. I was not aware. No. <laughs> what happened? And are you doing okay... I mean, you said you're relatively good, so I, I assume, you know, you're doing okay now, but, yeah. what? Let's see, today, in game was raining yesterday, so there will be three gyroids out and about in town in addition to our five fossils. Um, just want to keep our eyes open for those as we explore town. 
and see what we can see, find what we can find. All that jazz. Well, here is, is this fossil number one or gyroid number one? Fossil number one, tons of fun. Say hi to Genji, who has just moved in. As we continue, and oh, Maple's over here, a little bit, not far from home. She just lives one space out. Maple. Uh, She's about to insinuate that I'm just getting up now. I've been awake since like 3 a.m. ish. Mm. Let's talk. Pers ooh, personalized quiz question. Wonderful prize. Held here each and every August. Meteor shower. An Apple TV. Ooh, I don't want that kind of Apple TV. <laughs> okay. Ooh, weed. Well, not a money rock. But there was something in that rock. And also not a money rock. Yesterday, the money rock was literally the last rock in town. Fossil number two or a gyroid? Fossil number two, how about you? And that finishes off our cloudy paper. Just gonna turn the, my audio up a bit. Like just uh, my listening to audio, not my not uh, stream audio. Uh got pancreas. Titus, oof. Extremely painful, had a surgery in several ERCPs. For about five of the weeks you were there, you... Uh, I assume that's supposed to be, hey, you weren't able? Or, or that for only five of the weeks you were able to eat or drink anything. Unable, okay. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's rough. Mm. Really got a ping pong. Yeah, that's rough. You're doing better now. Down too much. Just get. I need to get the exact. Uh, now you just have two coming out of your gut. Uh huh. Okay. I mean. Okay. What was up? Something here was making a buzzing noise, but I don't know what it was. Probably some kind of insect that flew away. It really matters if it was because I don't need any insects. I've already caught all of them. And all the fish. I'm 
mean, I've done most of the things in this game. Out of curiosity, sixty-five. That is, we don't because I didn't play on Sunday. So I, I don't know exactly what the turnips here were, what Joan was selling them for. But um, t this week, Monday and Tuesday, Nook was paying around a hundred twenty some ish, I think. Then. Wednesday was like 800 something. Then yesterday was like, I want to say like 80 or 90 something, and then today 65. So, interesting uh, variation in the prices there. So we got uh, some stationery in the dump, which is always nice. Means it saves me buying some later. Fossil number three or a gyroid? Gyroid number one. A tall. Is that one of the ones we needed for Jonathan's house? No, we need an adjectiveless sproid, not a tall one. Okay, so this one we can just sell. There, we'll get that in just a bit when I'm going down the ramp. First, I'm just gonna quickly explore over here. No, nope, nothing. Doesn't look like anything over there. Okay, is this fossil number three or another gyroid? Fossil number three, just for me. I like the fireworks paper. A lot of pill bugs coming out of the rocks today. Not sure if that's significant of anything, but just, you know, something I'm noting. Making a note of. They managed to find a channel on YouTube that continuously, continuously shows episodes of Reboot all day. Nice! <laughs> I need to go watch through that show again at some point. And, I mean, I guess watch through all of it, because... I'm pretty sure I saw most of it when I was a kid. But I'm sure I missed some episodes. Especially because that, you know, I watched back in the day before, like, you know, I had internet, so it wasn't even like I could go check off, like, a list of episodes and make sure I'd seen them all. <laughs> okay.
Yeah, but I'm actually just realizing how much different, even something yeah, like watching TV without like the internet, it, like even just watching TV on TV, but like without the internet to be able to check like, hey, is this every episode? Am I missing? Is there an episode that I, are there episodes that I haven't seen? Just looking at episode lists and such, I'm just like, huh, I haven't really thought about that, but yeah. Until now. That's not, that's not this, this is where we want to go home. Okay, Money Rock isn't on this side of the river. We did get three fossils and a gyro, so we still have, <coughs> sorry about that, two more fossils, two more gyroids, Money Rock, the glowing spot. We also talked to the villagers a little on the side of the river. We haven't talked to the other three yet. Unsurprising. And sometimes, sometimes they travel around, so sometimes you see villagers from the other side of the river on this side of the river or whatever, but today it seems like they're all sticking to their own sides of town. Fossil number four? No, gyroid. Mini Botoid. Let's check. Mm. Nope. Jonathan's house, so I can just sell that one. Anyone buy the wishing well? Yeah, the most likely place for a villager to be is by their is an acre with their own house. The second most likely place is the wishing well, but of course they can be all over town. Well, the least likely places are, like, uh, the train station. I rarely see villagers at the train station. But I'm pretty sure I have. I'm pretty sure that's possible. Which is very rare. Ooh, we got lucky today. 10,000 instead of the normal 1,000. Let's a go. Still no money rock, but we still have the final quadrant to explore. I wonder if it can be the money rock can be the same rock two days in a row, because yesterday's it was in this final quadrant, but we still have multiple rocks track. Ooh. Fossil number four. Just one more. Which NES games do I have? Uh, here in Animal Crossing. I have. Um Balloon Fight, Baseball, Clu Clu Land, Clu Clu Land D, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong Jr. Math, Donkey Kong 3, Excite Bike, Golf, Ice Climber. I don't have Legend of Zelda or Mario Brothers yet. I have Pinball, Punch Out, Soccer. I don't have Super Mario Brothers. I have Tennis and Warriors Woods. So, yeah, all but Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers, and Legend of Zelda from that list. If you mean in, you know, in real life for the actual NES, um, that would take me a bit longer to think of what I'll have.
Oh, you said, were you misreading where it said NES 100% as one out of 19 is assuming I only have one of them? Because that's, that's, I've only 100%ed one of them. <laughs> but yeah, I have uh, 16 of the 19 games, but I, I've only 100%ed one of them. Which was Donkey Kong Jr. Math. Because that one's fairly easy to 100%. Hey, Pom Pom. Let's chat. Uh, outfits are so cool. I mean, it's a shirt with a number four on it. Sure. I mean, as long as you like the way you look. That's the important thing. Uh, recently been buying N64 games. That's cool. Expensive though, I think, right? Any 64 games. I haven't bought any 64 games recently, but I'm pretty sure. Um, pretty sure N64 games are fairly expensive these days. I've been buying, s I mean, various random games for various. Like the most recent game I bought were um, Adventure Island for the NES and Pac Man World for PS1. <laughs> what are some of the other. <laughs> This cough will just not go away. Which N64 games have you been, uh, what are some of the recent pickups you've been making? Get them for cheap on Virage sale if you're lucky. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I think the most recent N64 game I bought is uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. <laughs> I was just looking down on my shelf because I'm like, wait, I did buy that, re right? I, I was like, did I buy that or was I just planning on buying that? <laughs> Because it was, it was already like a couple months ago and it's like I haven't played it, so it's like... My brain's always like, wait, did I actually buy that? But yeah, it's on my shelf behind me. Yeah, I'll start... Actually, I'm here to ask you a no, favor. No, no, I'm not. Mmm... <laughs> The only type of fruit you can get in our little burg is a pear. Mm. No, I, I prefer peaches to pears. I'm not really out of luck. I have. <laughs> we have every type of fruit in this town, because I, I did put in the work doing that. It would be funnier if she said cherries, and then like as soon as you know the conversation ends, it zooms out, and we see what am I doing? We already got the money rock. Uh, ooh, both the mystical ninja games, nice. Quest sixty four and Mega Man sixty four, nice. Yeah, those are all games I would like to get eventually myself. Um, especially Mega Man sixty four and the mystical ninja games. Quest 64, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind getting eventually, but that one's not, like, that's not a high priority. That's more of a, hey, it would be cool to eventually own every N64 game for me, thing for me, where it's like, yeah. But, yeah. Oh, we did, okay, we found my rock and a glowing spot, so we just have that last fossil and the last gyroid. 
I also still need to talk to... Okay, we talked to Pom Pom already. Not Rocco, who is probably in his house. Because, yeah, he's usually... Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. He always tells me not to come in here if I'm invited. But how am I supposed to talk to him if he's always hiding away inside? Diligent letter writer. I write letters to the museum. <laughs> ah, fossil number five. We're alive. So we got all the fossils. There's still one more gyro. I mean, it might also be in this acre somewhere. Or we might have missed it. And, yeah, we missed it somewhere. <laughs> it's actually funny, because we finally... Because... On Monday, we also had gyro. It's, we found two of them. <coughs> And the third one was missing until I finally found it. Was it yesterday? Finally found it, and now we have another missing one. Hopefully, hopefully that this one doesn't elude us for as long. But we will see. S four on four games for only hundred bucks. Oh, nice. Oh, you were too late. And someone else bought it. That's rough. But, unfortunately, that's the way things go sometimes. Uh, what was it? Um, a week or two ago, I was bidding on a comic on eBay, and... I was the, um, I was winning it, I was the winning bidder, and, like, as, as it was, like, counting down at the end, like, I've been the winning bidder for, like, several days, then as, it's like, you know, counting down, ten seconds left, I'm the winning bidder, I, I hit refresh, just to be sure, tell, still tells me I'm the winning bidder, and then, all of a sudden, right, like, as it's ending, I get a notification, you have been outbid, and I'm like, seriously? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> um, like, even if I, you know, I got that notification sooner, there was not much I could have done, because I was already, like, bidding pretty much all that I could. Like, maybe I could have gone, like, an, a dollar or two more. It's a bit tri It was a bit tricky, because, like, you know, it, it was uh, in... USD, so then, like, I always have to, like, take into consideration the fact that, like, the exchange rate, like, can, uh, you know, can shift slightly from day to day and such, but, you know, so I maybe could have gone, like, an extra, a little bit higher, but not by much. <laughs> so, yeah. It's always a tricky thing with uh, online stuff, is other people can get stuff out from under you. Okay. to go 
work on or look at one of my other characters' houses in one of my other towns. Okay, what do I have here? Jonathan with the gyroids. Carla with... Oh, the Jingle series, so that's where we're... Marina, welcome in with that raid. How's it going? How are you doing? Um... Welcome in, Ice Spark and Narina. Doing good, thanks. No problem. I'm doing all right. Uh, getting back to streaming this week after um, after like an unintentional half a year of a break. <laughs> Animal Crossing's going well. Um, you can see below me where I'm at with uh, all the hundred percenting of things. Good to see me back. It's good to be back. Yeah. But yeah. We're just going to quickly travel over to one of my other towns. Just want to go take a look at the other characters' houses. Well, let me give you a shout out. Uh, need to get back into the swing of all the stream things. What were you up to as well today? Uh, oh, doing art. Nice. How was that going? How was that? Good, your hand is tired, so you need to stop. Ah, oh, yeah, made good progress. Well, that's good. <clears throat> yeah, I, I completely understand. I mean, I don't really do art stuff, but even with video games, I the other day I had a thing where just the way I was the way I was holding the I was gonna say controller, but I guess having the 3DS for doing stuff, I was getting my hand cramped, and eventually I was like, okay, no, I need to take, I need to stop for now. <laughs> And I know you also have stuff with your hand, right? I think you've had issues with your hands before, if I recall correctly. Okay. Yeah, going back to your parlor days. Ah, yeah. Also check while I'm here. I was gonna maybe checking out with my other characters' houses to see like what I was storing where. But at the same time, I should also check what villagers I all have here. If I have any of the three that I need, Buzz Chief and Ciro. because then we could potentially get them to... Um, move to Trantor. Okay, so... So this house should be essentially empty, I'm assuming. Yeah, just the standard stuff. This is James's house. What? Okay, no item. 
times. Okay, so yeah, main floor here we have various, like, Gulliver items. I don't know if this is all of the Gulliver items or not. Upstairs, we have nothing in his upstairs. And basement is also empty. Other than these cockroaches. Jonathan's house. Anything in the gyroid? No, oh, no items. Excellent. Yes, this is the gyroid collection. <laughs> Eventually, I want to have one of every gyroid in here between the three floors. We have a good chunk of them, but not all of them yet. I may want to figure out what I want to do with the flooring and the wallpaper, if I want to change it or not. What do I have marked down for? Yeah, just the gyro information. And then this house is Carla. Yes, okay. So this is where we were doing the main floor being the Jingle series, which obviously we're still missing a few things here. Jingle bed uh, upstairs, we want to be doing the Western series. Basement is just question mark, question mark, question mark. I mean, for most of my characters, I think I probably won't bother doing anything with the basement. Um, but. Okay. I just look at this because I'm like, is this more money that, because like, so I have like piles of money in front of the train station in all of my towns other than my main town, and in most of them, like, the corners are shaped, you know, like something like that, like that, actually this one is a bit different in the shape than the others, but I think it's still the same number total, or whatever, but like, in the center, I have like a specific shape in most of them, and this is a different shape, so I was like, wait, is this more? But no, it's not more, it's just differently shaped because of the fact that the statues are in the way. But it is what it is. Otherwise, um, brain. 
What are we thinking? Thinking. I'm thinking. My brain is just empty right now, apparently. Apparently, I'm thinking nothing. <laughs> I think after we're done with Rick, we'll play as Jonathan to grab those um, gyros that we have in our gyroid. And I also want to look at my wallpaper and carpet to see if I like anything better for Jonathan's house than what he currently has to go with the gyroid collection. I don't know what would be better, but... Honestly, the metal flooring isn't bad to go with the gyroids if you think of them as, like, robots and... No, no, we moved out. Excellent. I was doing that one trip today, so don't have to worry about anyone else moving out. Um, see my catalog. What is which is the carpet that we were using? The um Steel floor, okay. So that's number forty three. Or maybe you <coughs> want to go with something like basement floor. Mm. Well, let's see what uh, 43 is for... Well, thank you for the good luck with 100%. It is much appreciated. Mm, I'll consider it. I've caught it before, but but I wanted to try to catch it because 
Those things are like the bane of my... I've caught two bad dragonflies total. That, that's how tricky they are to catch. That's all I've been ma ma managed to catch. Let me just confirm that these are ones that uh, we needed for Jonathan's house and the complete collection. So, mini rustoid. Yep. And mini harmonoid. Yep. Okay. I think we let's just confirm that we don't have any other ones in our basement. So we're gonna pick those up with Jonathan yet later when we're done with Rick. And then we're gonna worry about getting all of this stuff to Carla's house, the jingle stuff. So let me figure out what I'm doing with the outfits. Because I think I was putting a complete collection of outfits in one of my characters' houses. But I don't remember which. And the model's over for, uh... Also for someone's house. I think that was Catherine's house. <coughs> Four o'clock already? I mean, I said it's. Oh, yeah, I did start like 14 minutes late, so that makes, makes sense. Okay. Will you pop and say hello and just watch for half an hour before bed? No worries. Oh, Emily, um. So, with. When you filled out the, uh. The sub request form yesterday, you, um, where was it? Uh, you responded that you wanted a tag on, in my going live tweet on Twitter, but you didn't put a Twitter handle. <laughs> <laughs> So I, 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 and I can't exactly like give, you know, tag you in the going live tweet if I don't know your Twitter handle. If, if, if you just act, didn't even realize that. Yeah. <laughs> Other, otherwise everything else is fine. Like the actual vote itself and everything is, is fine. But yeah. Don't use Twitter, so not to already click that option. Okay, no worries. <laughs> I assume that's probably what it was. Well, I mean, I guess there were two options. The options were that you accidentally clicked yes, or that you just forgot to put it in a Twitter uh, account. <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, that should be happening this Sunday. Although, that being said, you are, um, uh, uh, it's at 6 p.m. my time, which, are you UK? Because that would then be, like, midnight your time, just as a... Yeah, UK. So that would be midnight your time that that would be starting at. Don't 
don't know why I went to <coughs> that direction at the start. Later on, when it starts getting like higher difficulties and such, I'll go to the left. Yeah, start moving left at the start of the stage because of um, that being a better strategy later. But when when they get up into the air so much quicker, but this early on. <laughs> Better go the other direction to get more of them taken out before they get into the air. I really hope this cough goes away soon. Like, I was sick. Was that two weeks ago already? And the thing is, I wasn't even coughing most of the time I was sick. And then, like, like the last day I was sick or whatever, all of a sudden I started coughing, and it's the coughing has continued for, like, another two weeks now. <laughs> it's annoying. That was... Ah, crap. Lost a balloon. Should not be losing a balloon this early. I was gonna lose the other balloon. We're good, but. Things eight. Okay, we're good now, I'm pretty sure. Boring, like, be making a really bad mistake. And now phase nine, we just need to make it through, and then we get a bonus round and get our balloon back. Okay. Okay, just need to take this guy out. Gotcha. And back to full balloon power. Phase 10. Decent start. Just need to... Ah. Uh, no, don't get... Okay. Come out here. Thank you. Go into the water, please. More land here, that's fine. Oh, that works too. Phase 11. That would have been close, but we still got perfect. Super bonus. 250,000, or 25,000 points. 
not 250,000. The points would go up so quickly if that were the case. a bit. A bit. Oh, can't wait things to go that way. That's fine. You know, it would be nice if the lightning affected them as... Well, that lightning was very close. Is weed talk taboo here? I mean, not taboo, no. You're not gonna get much meaningful talk here, though, because, like, you know, I don't smoke weed or anything, so, and I, you know, so I don't really have much to add to any discussion on it. <laughs> That's not taboo. You ask because you're high? Oh yeah. No, I take no offense at that. Back when I ran the Star Wars RPG on here, I think some of my players were occasionally high while playing, maybe? Definitely, you know, definitely some of them, you know, would get high at times. I don't know if actually they were high when playing, but they might have been. I have a vague recollection of that. <laughs> Speaking of Star Wars campaign, you're also in one. Nice. Uh, which uh, system was is the uh, is the West End Games one that I played, or Fantasy Flight, or even Wizards of the Coast? Because they've all had. I think those are the three. Those are the three Star Wars RPGs that have. Existed. <clears throat> Star Wars 5e. I'm not sure what that is. I think the situation is not great. Oh. Galactic Empire would have been the New Republic era. Okay, yeah. Phase 20. Ooh, 
I hate those flippers. Lower down, please. There we go. Thank you. No, 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 no. Okay, we need to be careful not to lose our other balloon. Phase 21. Okay, we're okay. We are very okay now. Got our balloon back. still perfect. Whew. Play a Sith Pure Blood from the <coughs> Old Republic era. You lived for so long you were frozen carbonate in forgotten mode ever since the collapse of the Sith Empire. Have you been playing this one for a while, and have you told me about it previously? Because that sounds familiar. I feel like you might have mentioned that to me before, assuming you've been playing for a while. <clears throat> Good. Okay. Marcy lands. Land and that could have been very bad. Not the best because you may have angered a robot named Spector. This is actual real life spite against someone. You won't get into it, okay? Well, then I will not comment on it because, yeah, I find it. But okay. Damn it! 
Lightning. You know, if, if you remove the lightning from this game, that would make it s so much easier. Well, I'm not saying they should, like, they should have removed the lightning, because, like, challenge isn't a bad thing. But I'm just realizing, like, lightning completely changes the, like, massively changes the difficulty of this game. Because even, like, even, like, the fact that, like, you know, when it something like this happens, and I lose a balloon to one of, uh, you know, these assholes. It's off, like, well, it's often because I'm kind of trying to rush so that, you know, because the quicker I can take them out, the less chance I have of lightning showing up and striking and hitting me. Player's an Inquisitor, she's currently praying with your character's kid, and Cashboy Spectre, who's currently torturing her. That's okay, that's pretty dark. Ex Inquisitor, okay. Thirty. No, 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 no. Ah, yeah, I saw that coming. I was stuck between two of them. <laughs> Crap, I don't know how I didn't lose a balloon there. This attempt is going to end shortly, I'm sure. I am not playing at my best right now. Remember yesterday when I said, oh, because of the fact that I was having the, the, the pattern of, you know, Monday I did well, Tuesday I did not so well, Wednesday I did well, and then yesterday I said, oh, at the point I said this, I was saying, oh, what is doing not so well? So I'm like, oh yeah, so tomorrow, Friday, I'll do really well. And, well, clearly I'm not, but on the other hand, yesterday, actually, I had, I, ha I, I had an early death, which is why I was saying I didn't do well, but once I got a bit further in, I actually was doing good, so we're doing well, as it were. No, Superman does good. You're doing well. I say phase 32. <coughs> yeah, that was not a great run. Okay, let's go switch over to Jonathan and then pick up these giant rides with him.
I for, <laughs> why am I just going right back in? Okay, we'll just go say and quit and then... Okay. After I quit, I need to switch the memory cards first and then... <laughs> cards. Station model nine. <coughs> okay, let's see what we got for uh, the mail. Tom Nook, the Sun Owl Clock, HRA. I guess they think I've made good progress when my house is just full of gyroids. Rosie moved, Betty moved, Goose moved, Rolo moved. Caesar moved. Eloise moved. Okay. So let's go. Get uh Was Jairus from Rick's house? <laughs> and this travel should also cause somebody from this town to move to Trantor. Fingers crossed that it's, um, that it's Alfonso. He's my favorite. I, mean, I would like to have him in my main town again. That would be nice. <laughs> <coughs> but, you know, we'll see how that goes. Okay, oh. We get to draw. Ace today. face. And then you go talk to some stranger on, you know, a train and ask them to draw you a face and instead of drawing a face, they draw a globe of some random planet with like random ass land masses in the ocean. Look him in, uh, Kawawa Kim. How's it going? How are you doing? Okay. Antorn 
now arriving at Trantor. So let's... Grab these gyroids. I'm gonna head right back. <coughs> A nice super long uh, trip here. Yep, leaving already. I did just get here. I was doing the one thing, grabbing the one thing, and then heading out. Oh, it's 4.30 already. Okay. This is also, that means I've been live for an hour and a half, I know, because I did start a little bit late. So I've only been live for an hour and 18 minutes. Switching to Earthbound beginning shortly. And then we'll see if we can make progress in there compared to the last time. So let's see. Um, because we traveled, somebody, and because we were at like, I think, full size. Did that work? Did what work? Fonzo didn't move. One, two, three, four, five, and eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, we weren't even at full. <laughs> Twitch told you to give them your phone number or that you were fine posting without it earlier. Interesting. I know streamers can have it set so people need to have a verified account to chat in this their streams I don't remember what I have my settings set to um, is that under moderation yeah it is I I have phone number verification off, so you shouldn't need to enter a phone number to chat in my chat. Um, 
Same player is also playing as a different Sithy character. Really just playing Alstor from Hazard Hotel. If you've watched it, I have not, so that name means nothing to me. Okay, there's a letter here, so somebody presumably moved to Trantor. We'll find that out tomorrow. Or well, not tomorrow, tomorrow, Saturday. Next time I play. <clears throat> All clankoid. Nope. Don't need that. Okay, we're going to just drop this for now so I, I don't get confused. But we should actually yeah, run through the town and see. So I've seen a lot of buried things, and a chunk of them are probably gyroids. But first, let's go and drop off the ones that we already picked up. <clears throat> okay, so we have a mini harmonoid. Harmonoids. Go on the main floor. What does the harmonoid look like? Is this a harmonoid? Tall harmonoid. Yes. Now this is... Mini Harmonoid. There are four Harmonoids, so we're still missing the Adjectiveless one and the Mega. Okay, now this is a Rustoid. That's in the basement. Psycho Cannibal Radio Deermon. Oh, that is quite the string of words. Still one other rustoid. The mega rustoid. Okay. Demon who has powers over the radio. Oh, okay. Interesting. to do <clears throat> is replace the radio at some point with the uh, robo stereo because that will kind of blend in with the gyroids nicely. Uh, I think I do like the steel floor. I think that kind of suits the gyroids as well. But yeah, we might do something different with the wallpaper. Okay, um... Okay, 
let's go explore and see. He's definitely saw some buried stuff. Here we go. So let's see if we how many gyroids we can find and if we need tall oboid. Nope. Is that one we can sell? Now, you know what we're gonna do? We're going to go put this in the center. Stuff we can sell on this side, stuff we want to keep on this side. Mini Dingloid. You can sell that one. Probably good that we're going to bounty hunter to watch over you and make sure you don't bail. Oh yeah. Percoloid. We can sell that one. Mini Sproid. Sell that one. In character, you won't because it's basically your second chance to be a father. Okay. That's just a fossil. Oh, this is quite the cluster of trees up here. Can we dig in between these? Because. There's an empty space in between these trees. Okay, but there is an orange there, so... Out of character, you're thinking of bailing IRL because the DM is Garbo. I mean, that's unfortunate. Can we dig like... No. I was thinking we might be able to dig there because of the... I was wondering if like it was just the reason we were able to dig the other spot was because of the orange in between. I wonder if there's anything... <clears throat> it's interesting the trees actually grew like this. Yeah, I wonder if there's anything in between... The, <laughs> the ones where we can't see the stuff. Ooh, almost didn't see this one. Mega Lullaboyd. Nope, don't need that. Actually, no, we're going to put the ones we can sell on this side, just so I don't have to be constantly moving everything. Just move the ones that I actually want to keep. Mega Plinkoid. No. Literally the one I just Oh, but they still eh, it still crosses over here. Oh, 
Just a fossil. Mega Dinkoid. how you feel like he plays the campaign out of spite against us because he wasn't really getting uh, his way too much another campaign we're doing that he doesn't host. That's, yeah, that, that's unfortunate when when DMs do stuff like that. so that we can actually we're just not getting any we're finding a ton of gyroids but nothing that uh... I mean to be fair Jonathan has a fairly big collection in his house already so it is kind of understandable a lot of things he already has. Got great storytelling, he's just not great. Oh yeah. Uh, well, hopefully you figure out what you want to do with the situation. Whether you want to quit or stick it out. Oh, look at all these station models. Yeah, we missed out on get, trying to get more this July, so next July we'll have to try to get those last, that last one we need. Tall Puffoid. Nope. Do we think we'll find <coughs> even one of the gyroid needs we want for Jonathan's house today? Or will we just. Tall Tympanoid? Nope. Warbloid, nope. Mini Gargloid. Nope. I'm also gonna run out of here. Long swap. Tall Buzzoid. Oh hey, that's one. There we go, one. So don't sell that one. Oh, 
much as a fossil. Mega Botoid. Nope. Did I 100% Animal Crossing and do it again? No, I did not 100% Animal Crossing. I still have a lot to. Uh, I still have a few things to do. Okay, we got up to the polling station. Sell all this junk, uh, all this junk inside my trunk. So this is just like one of my secondary characters in one of my secondary towns, and I'm trying to build a complete collection of gyroids in his house. Um, I just also realized that there's a lot of gyroids just like within the town that are, you know, from time it's rain, so let's just go dig them all up right now. Buzzoids go upstairs, I'm assuming. Buzzoid is that. Oh. Right, so this is so we have all four buzzoids here now. Said we were up to the out to the police. Oh, actually, so we're just going to do this. Let's just go down this way. Okay. Nebuloid. And oh no, nope. don't need a nebuloid. Mega Sporoid. No, we need a regular Sporoid. Not a Mega. Well, other secondary towns might have a bunch of gyroids in them as well, like this. Mini. Mini Sputnoid. That's what we need. Ooh. 
Mega Haloid. No, don't need any Haloids. Need two kinds of Harmonoids. No Haloids. Mega Quasoid. Nope, don't need any Quasoids. Mega Harmonoid. Is that, is that literally the one that I just... No, that's the one I said I needed. Okay. Good checking in. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Always a pleasure. This acre. That's fascinating. Lamentoid. Ooh, that's another one we needed. So we need to do these two acres then up here. And I'll finish that off. So we'll go drop well sell the sell the ones we're selling first. And then drop off the others. I'm 
assuming these are the Lamentoids then. Yeah, that's a Mega Lamentoid. We just need the mini Lamentoid. Then see Sputnoid, that I'm guessing is in the basement. Yep. What does a Sputnoid look like? one. Yeah, that's a mega sputnoid. So that should be all four types of sputnoids. Yep. And then finally, mega harmonoid. That is one of the main floor. Is this a harmonoid? Mini harmonoid, yes. Interesting that those two are both have, both have like blue highlights, and this one has a red. But yeah, otherwise they do look the same. Although I think, oh, is the one of the back a darker blue? Hmm. This is mega, right? Curious what the regular harmonoid is going to be then. Is it also going to be red? Is it going to be blue? Is it going to be some other color? I guess we'll find out. Eventually. I mean, I could always check in Rick's um, catalog. Since we have them all in there, we just. The only thing is, we don't have. Um, can't order them from over there. Also, we can find out who moved out today. Uh, yeah, Red's coming to town, that's fine. Peach has moved to Trantor, okay. Uh, I'm blanking on, on top of my head on which one Peach's is. <clears throat> but, okay, so where were we now in exploring? We are in this acre. Ah, oh, it's just a fossil. Mega Freakoid. Wait. Oh no, I need a mini Freakoid. <laughs> mini Crocoid. No, let me see why I need a Clankoid. The only C one I need is a clankoid. Well, it's a clankoid, but it's tall. I don't need a tall one, I just need a regular one. Mega 
Herkloy, don't need anything starting with the letter P. Mega Crocoid, nope. So actually some decent progress on um, Jonathan's gyroid collection. So we just need really three more for the main or for the bait the upstairs. for the main floor and three more for the basement so that's just what is this for the main floor seven and then three and three so that's 13 total and then we'll have a complete collection of gyroids in Jonathan's house the reason this is significant is because that I have like, you know, a situation again where, say, Emmerichar gets corrupted and I lose my main town, I can quickly and easily get the gyroids back in my, um, into my catalog. Although if I lost, I guess, Praetorus and my main town, then I'd be out of luck, but... <laughs> That would, you know, that's having two separate memory cards fail would be is less likely than one memory card failing. Okay, um, that's it for the Animal Crossing portion of the stream. But we are going to keep going with stream and playing some uh, what Earthbound Beginnings. One second. Earthbound Beginnings. Okay, so I'm just going to go switch around some game cables and all that jazz and get ready for that. Uh, so first, actually, let's switch to... Um, the Wii U. Or is this Wii mode full screen? Oh, that also has this on. Um, which one do I use for... I think I use the Wii mode full screen for my beginnings. But we'll, 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 we'll see if... Anyway, I'm gonna yeah, go and uh, switch cables and then we'll get it started. <laughs> 